And now celebrating those who give black. An exhibit featuring African-American philanthropists may be the catalyst for a new way to spark change. Tonight News 5's Mike Brookbank gives us a look at the Cleveland Black Equity and Humanity Fund and how the money will help tackle challenges in communities of color, making Northeast Ohio a better land. So when the second quarter starts, let the other two play you go. Making mistakes is part of life. I um, got myself into some illegal activities and thought that was a, you know, the way to try to make money. It's what we do after that defines us. Ended up getting evicted. Me and my two kids was on the, you know, corner there, couldn't even find a place to live. For Michelle Powell. I'm from this neighborhood. Staying at rock bottom wasn't an option. You know, I do believe God called me. Her comeback includes a lot of company. Powell started Let's Make a Difference. I don't think I was qualified to do any of this, but I'm here. It's because I care and I have compassion to make a difference for these kids. The Medina-based nonprofit gives children in the community a chance to succeed in the classroom by offering tutoring. I started noticing that kids have started um, struggling with their homework. As well as providing access to activities their families might otherwise not be able to afford. Didn't have the money to go to the swimming pool, didn't have money to go to the wreck, didn't have money to go to the movie. Finding the cash to keep this important program going, even after two decades, still a challenge. We need bus. A lot of our kids weren't able to participate. It's because they didn't have a ride. And some of our parents do not have that transportation. It's programs like Powell's. It is fun. It's all about love. That will soon benefit from the new Cleveland Black Equity and Humanity Fund. We're not focused on a moment where you do something and you're done. We're really focused on a movement. Kevin Johnson tells me the fund was born out of this exhibit at the main branch of the Cleveland Public Library. One of the things that we wanted to do with the Soul of Philanthropy Cleveland is shed light on what giving looks like in the African-American community. The pool of funding will be used to better position people of color facing social and economic challenges. How do we intentionally uh, change some of the problems that have been sustained over such a long period of time? We, we believe that it's doable and we intend to do it. Back in Medina. Hopefully my dream is always to get a building that would say, you know, it's let's make a difference. Michelle Powell continues to push ahead. There are days, many days that I want to quit and just walk away. But it's that one child that I could come through here and they would say, Miss Michelle, are you going to do the program today? And I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. As she expands her outreach, Powell's constantly on the search for the money that will sustain her program. Help more children to be able to fulfill their, their dreams. You know, every kid has a dream. Reporting in Medina, Mike Brookbank, News 5. She has so much energy. Great to see her working with kids. And if you know of an organization or person who is helping to make Northeast Ohio a better land, let us know. You can fill out a form under the Better Land section of our News 5 app or news5cleveland.com.